if you think you know Miraculous, you should definitely check out this quiz that we made, a bunch of obscure references and stuff that you can test your knowledge about Miraculous Ladybug on Miraculous Ladybug. And me know this is the official Cartoon Universe quiz, son. So if you're obsessed with Miraculous, you want to test your knowledge, I'm, I'm challenging you right now, face to face. Not face to face, but microphone to ear. Let's go with that. Amino is basically a series of apps. They're kind of like subreddits. There's a place where you can just show your fan art, discuss fan theories, talk with other fans of your favorite things. They've got everything you can possibly imagine. They've got TV, movies, lifestyle, all that good stuff. Steven Universe, Star Wars, The Force of Evil, and of course they've got Miraculous. They have this crazy avatar thing that's kind of like the iPhone X emojis and it's, it's, freak, it's freaking me out. I am the ghost of Cartoon hiatuses, fear me. Yeah. <coughs> Follow us right here at Cartoon Universe. Take the quiz, screenshot your score, and then tweet us at Cartoon UV and let us know what score you got. See if you can beat us. We will leave a link in the description down below where you can download Miraculous Ladybug Amino. Go check it out. It's a good time. Now here's the video. What is going on, guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe, and today's going to be sort of a compilation of info that we know so far about Miraculous. As many of you may know, uh, they're, they're pretty liberal when it comes to revealing information, much more liberal than Star and Steven Universe. Thomas Sawstruck, the creator, and Zag in general, they usually tell us a lot about Miraculous before we really should know much. Uh, we knew about, you know, Alia's new Kwame, we know about some other new Kwame that's gonna be coming out. Like, we just, we just know we have so much info and there's a lot to kind of keep track of. So this is going to be kind of a compilation. These are all the things that we know so far that have yet to be officially revealed in the show itself. So I'm just basically just going to be a compilation of all this stuff that we know and that we've seen that we haven't actually got to experience officially in the show just yet. So uh, the first ones are going to go over these tweets from 2016. Uh, this is from Ladybug Cartoon. They, these tweets have since been deleted. First says, more breaking news. Thomas Oshak said that he might include the past Ladybugs in the show if he gets a good story for them. So we knew about that. That's, like I said, that's pretty old. So that's pretty cool. If we can get some sort of flashback about the old Miraculous holders, that'd be pretty dope. And then said, even more breaking news. Uh, Thomas Oshak says that it's difficult for Marinette to get akumatized because she's an optimistic person. So we've seen, uh, we've seen her kind of get down and out on herself sort of self-conscious and not super uh not, not having super high self-esteem but we've never i don't think we've seen her really genuinely very angry or very sad so that's pretty interesting although i would say adrian would probably be even harder to akumatize than marinette would be so i could actually see an episode going down but this does confirm that she can be akumatized her ladybug kwame is not stopping her from being akumatized so it is possible it says it's just difficult so that's pretty interesting and then next says, breaking news, uh, Thomas Ostrak has confirmed at Japan Weekend that he is planning for Miraculous Ladybug to have six seasons and maybe more. So right now we're on season two. We have season three 100% confirmed and they're planning to go up to six seasons. So this is kind of a big thing. They're, they have a lot of stuff that they're really trying to plan. They're very ambitious. They have got a live action movie in 2020. They want to get to six seasons, which probably going to take up to at least 2020 2021 2022 it's gonna it's gonna be a while before we even get to that point hopefully by that point we have a lot of lore and stuff but yeah so that we're on season two now so look forward to about four more seasons of miraculous and this kind of goes along with that. This is actually a pretty recent tweet. Thomas Asterix said, Keep in mind there were always 52 episodes ahead of fans. Everything's done before you even know it exists. So that's pretty big. So that means they're 52 ahead. I mean, that's pretty insane. Like, that's an insane amount to be ahead by. So right now we're in mid-season two. So there's going to be they're 52 episodes ahead. So that means... I think that means they're all in season four or so by now, if I'm not mistaken, because season two is more or less finished. So this means 52 episodes would be past season three, because each season gets about 26 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. So that's about two seasons. <laughs> it's about two seasons or so ahead of what we're actually doing. So they're about at season four, which is pretty nuts. So that more or less confirms that season four is being worked on. Then we've got this character named Luca Kof Kofain. <laughs> Uh, she's a character. Uh, he is Ju Julika's older brother. I thought that was a girl. I don't know why I assumed Luca was a girl. Older brother and a new student at uh, oh, Col Col College Fran <laughs> Francois Dupont, um, who attracts 
Marinette. So I guess Marinette is feeling Luca Co Cofain. Uh, if you don't remember who Ju Julika is, that's that's Julika. I don't really remember how to say their names. Um, but yeah, so that's there. That's gonna be uh, the older brother of her. So that's gonna be interesting. We got another love interest. He's probably gonna get akumatized or something like that. And another character we got is Anasi. Anasi possibly also known as Nancy, which is interesting translation. It's a character designed by Thomas Ashtok, who will appear in season two, so she'll be appearing pretty soon. Thomas posted preliminary sketches of her on his Twitter, August 13, 2016. Jeez, that was almost two years ago, my boy. Crazy. So physical appearance, concept art, uh, we can see it right here. Uh, Anansi is brown skin, muscular, with golden brown hair, as seen in pre 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 preliminary sketches. Her hair appears to be in dreadlocks, tied back into a ponytail. Uh, civilian attire, uh, there's the concept art. This is her. <laughs> um, I don't think we know much about her uh who she is she almost seems to resemble alia in a sense she looks like she could be related to her maybe it's interesting here it says one preliminary sketch of An anasi showed her wearing orange shorts white sneakers and blue socks appear to ha be shin guards and a small blue shirt with a small spider drawn on the left side another preliminary sketch showed the spider design covering the whole shirt which suggests that she may have an alternate form as a hero villain so again she might get akumatized uh one sketch her name is shown to be printed as anasi another sketch is nancy so we don't really know what her true name is going to end up being maybe anasi is just the french version and nancy would be the english version uh but what's interesting is anasi's existence was first teased in an earlier tweet by thomas Ashtrakt where he asked the question afraid of spiders so it's possible that if she does get akumatized uh here we have some more sketches of her if she does get akumatized, she might be afraid of spiders, and that might be what causes it, and she might be some type of spider villain, so that'd be pretty dope. Lapon, I, I think that's how you say that. Uh, this is, of course, the holder of the Peacock Miraculous. We still don't know who this is going to be. Uh, it's upcoming Miraculous holder that will appear at the by the end of Season 2, so she'll be coming out relatively soon. And in Season 3, she will be Hawk Moth's boss. We got that confirmed. I saw that myself at LA Comic Con in 2016. They did confirm that. She wills the Peacock Miraculous, and her Kwame is Dusu. Uh, her civilian form is unknown. So obviously, we've been speculating that this person is most likely Natalia uh, that seems to make the most sense from her color scheme to the fact that she's very close with Gabriel Grest who we know does have the Peacock Miraculous uh, in his possession so this is definitely going to be interesting to see her but we are going to see her by the end of season two so it shouldn't be too much long of a wait hopefully they don't spend too much time on civilians getting akumatized and hopefully we can get to this pretty soon and there is of course the confirmed chibi show from miraculous it's gonna be like a little mini special uh they've actually posted some clips of this on their instagram so if you want to follow thomas ostruck or uh jeremy zag i think they both post a uh, little they posted little tiny clips and storyboards from this but this is a little sneak peek of the chibi ladybug very quiet I must say. And it's going to be releasing sometime this year, and it's going to be basically a series. Oh, okay, it's a series plan of comedic short slapstick and no dialogue. So there's not going to be any dialogue. They're not going to talk. It's just going to be sort of Looney Tunes-esque, but a nice little mini chibi series. Here we have another episode that's called Troublemaker, an upcoming episode of second season. So again, we're probably going to see this pretty soon, considering that this seems to be more or less just a regular general episode. Here's a person who gets akumatized into Troublemaker. And that character is Penny Roll who is Jagged Stone's agent. I did not remember her at all, but she's going to get akumatized. So there actually are some a good amount of people who have not been akumatized yet. It feels like so many people have already gotten akumatized and I kind of forgot about some of these characters as being possibilities. So then we've got the Queen's Fight and this one looks really dope. It's upcoming up, upcoming special trilogy of episodes in season two. Again, coming up pretty soon, but we've it looks like this trilogy basically follows three different akumatized villains. Uh, we've We've got Style Queen right here, which is going to be one villain. We don't know who her uh, actual character is going to be, who she comes from. She might be someone entirely new. I don't know if we've actually theorized about who this could possibly be. So that she's going to be the first villain to get akumatized in this trilogy. And then we've got Queen Wasp, who obviously seems to be Chloe. And this is most likely going to be before she gets her B Miraculous, I would imagine. So that's pretty dope. That means that, that Chloe getting a Miraculous can't be too far behind this episode. And then we have Maledict tour which uh, i think roughly translates to dictator and if you look at his body it looks to be the mayor mayor bourgeois so it's probably mayor bourgeois more or less um considering his body and he's a dictator that's uh, maybe this is chloe's mom i don't know if we've seen chloe's mom so this would be just like the whole 
family getting akumatized i guess one by one so i wonder if there's like a connecting event that makes them all akumatized but yeah that is coming this season so we don't have to wait too long for that either okay so we do know uh Chloe's mom, sort of. Her name is apparently Audrey Bourgeois, and that's Chloe's mom. And uh, she was in the episode Despair Bears. We could see her really quick in a flashback while she, as she walks away from Chloe. So that so that, that looks like that's probably her. So yeah, that's that seems to be the whole family. Definitely an interesting trilogy. I'm looking forward to seeing that. If we go to, I can't show this uh, because he's uh, it's, it's, it's a spoiler. It's a leak. And last time we showed leaks on this channel, we got we got sniped. We got sniped by uh, by Zag. So we're we're not going to show this, but. Um, it does seem like this episode is going to be focusing on a guest star called Danny Boone. He's a French comedian, um, and he turns into a clown. And that's all we're going to talk about. Uh, Ro Roasting Noble is an episode coming up. Don't know what that means. That's a thing. And then we have a character named Frozer. Uh, I'm not going to show his thing either because I'm pretty sure this is a leak, but he's an ice villain. That's all I'm going to say right there. And then Captain Hard Rock. Maybe they are type of rival the Jagastone, some other sort of musician they might be jealous that Jagastone's get all the attention i don't know why they're a pirate though so <laughs> it's, your guess is as good as mine again i can't show you this because it is a leak and then we have a press release here i don't God, see i don't know if this is okay to show yet because last time we showed it it was a problem <laughs> so i don't i don't want any problems with this with with zag or anything so we're not going to show this whole video but basically in this video we did see that uh ladybug and cat noir they could transform so they basically had like uh underwater forms they had some ice skating forms which is i don't know how that's going to come into play i'm gu guessing that's going to be during the frozer episode uh but yeah they looked really cool and the quantum actually transform with them so that's something we've yet to see and i believe that's going to be for season two because it is part of the season two press release trailer so again we're we have a lot of new stuff coming this season so i'm, I'm curious when all that stuff is going to really start rolling in pretty sure this is okay to show because it was actually at a convention uh but basically the miraculous can uh, at least for ladybugs miraculous it can transform into different things as you can see here they all change colors and they'll have different abilities and basically they're based off of different gems not we ain't steven universe in here but they're all based off different gems so basically the the miraculous itself can it looks like absorb or maybe the yo-yo potentially can absorb different gems and be, have a different power depending on the gem so there's the stone of the sun which gives marinette a flying power uh pearl mysteries which gives her infinite lucky charms which that that that's pretty broken gotta say uh pearl the heart cure the something uh that might be cured the akumatized or something along those lines that might be a little op i don't know how that would even work so it seems cure something um and then pearl the sea breathe and move underwater that's probably has to do with her new underwater form and stone of the moon blank and blank in space so i'm assuming that might be breathe in space are we going are we going to space though hello um so yeah so pearl of the sea uh breathe and move swim underwater this is uh by the way shout out to uh piku chan on tumblr for posting this this seems to be uh their idea but basically pearl of the sea breathe and move slash swim underwater uh swim of the sun flying power that's you know pretty self-explanatory uh yeah i guess we'll probably get some ladybug wings finally stone of the moon fly and breathe in space so i'm guessing you could fly and breathe in space which means we're going to space <laughs> uh that, that that sounds really exciting and then we have pearl of mysteries infinite lucky charm so this is pretty crazy because this means that she gets herself into a situation where she needs more than one lucky charm she usually only needs one i think there was a couple times she needed to do it twice but that was after she transformed so that's cool uh and then pearl of the heart cure the akumatized maybe uh again that kind of uh, that would kind of defeat the purpose unless you know, uh, Lepone, uh, who is the Peacock Miraculous Holder, really just takes over completely, and basically Hawk Moth doesn't become an issue, and then Akumatized people aren't even a problem at that point. So I guess healing the Akumatized would just be kind of a side thing, and it wouldn't be that big a deal, and then the real villain, the real threat would be Lepone, and whatever she's able to do. This is, of course, Queen B. Obviously, uh, you know, Chloe's becomes the beam rack is holder that is not news don't need to talk about that that is completely uh well-known information and then this is carapace uh i can't show this one this is a spoiler but it's nino's kwame <laughs> or Nino, Nino, Nino becomes a miraculous holder that's again we we kind of get a hint of that in the season intro so it's like yeah no doubt that, that's 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 pretty much obviously Nino that's that's not a secret so yeah anyway not gonna show the picture though 
can't snipe me for not showing a picture okay then we've got uh ladybug in new york city this was confirmed on instagram so we know that ladybug is gonna be traveling the world we don't know what context we don't know why uh but this is gonna be its own thing eventually it's coming soon so again no idea when that's happening, but that's pretty dope and then in the same vein as that we do have she goes to china at some point and again don't know how that's gonna all tie in but it's really cool world building can't wait to see what other heroes are out there maybe other miraculous holders but yeah that's the picture they posted on instagram i love this art style a lot actually it's really pretty so yeah that's gonna happen then we have a halloween special which i actually did not know this was gonna happen uh it's an upcoming 52 minute special episode of miraculous uh tales of ladybug cat noir according to thomas ostruck uh at best it will premiere in 2018 which means it's, it's probably not gonna come in 2018 although which country's world premiere and then is unknown uh since then as revealed at an event writer series it might be canceled though it is possible if a fourth season happens so it looks like a fourth season is going to happening it's going to be happening considering thomas ostruck's last tweet uh but this looks cool i love this art style i almost wish i almost wish the show was in this art style instead of cg uh but yeah so this could be canceled i feel like it's going to get canceled i feel like they might be spreading themselves so thin that they might not even have time to do this but if they end up doing it that'd be pretty cool and this is concept art posted by jeremy zag again really cool so this this is basically in the vein of the Christmas special, but it's Halloween. So if it does get canceled, which it probably will not air this year, it'll air in the fourth season whenever the hell that happens. And I was actually here for this one. This was at LA Comic Con back in 2016. And basically it was confirmed that one fan would end up getting akumatized in season three as a new character. So that's pretty cool. I actually forget who won. I was actually in this. I don't even know if I'm in this video. Like if you can see me in the back anywhere. I doubt it though. I was like all the way in the back. Uh, but yeah, basically they akumatized some fan. They were handing out all this random stuff to all, all the people in the audience. And uh, yeah, someone got picked to be akumatized. I think it's this girl right here. If, if, if my computer would load, that'd be fantastic right here. So I think that this is the girl that is getting akumatized. That's, that's really cool. I, lo I love when like companies do this sort of thing where they have the fans kind of join in, in in the canon in some way shape or form so that's going to be happening in season three so we got a little bit of ways to go until that happens apparently alia has a third sibling so that could be uh what's her face from uh a second ago what's her name a nazi that could be a nazi so that could be alia's third sibling she might be an older sibling so we do know that it's a thing nino has a relative whose name is chris la lahif I guess. And apparently in this Periscope streams, long streams, are not going to go through all of it, but apparently they did confirm that there were going to be more LGBTQ characters in the series. So that's good. Good representation. Get that, get that progression. We have a live action Miraculous movie coming out in 2020. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then Hawk Moth gets a new helper. So I guess maybe Hawk Moth is going to get sort of a sidekick maybe, or unless this is referring to the person who's going to be Hawk Moth's boss, which is the holder of the Peacock Miraculous don't know so this is a lot <laughs> this is a lot to take in it's a lot it's a lot of information this is just this is just so much we know so much about the series and the next couple seasons and even beyond and we we we're still in season two and they're just they're just giving us <laughs> all this information i kind of wish they were more they're a little more quiet but it does get a lot of hype around the series because at, le I, at least for the first season i think they didn't get to do exactly what they wanted to do because there was a lot of lore and story bits that they wanted to add in but they didn't have time to write so i guess they're trying to get people hyped about all the new stuff that's going to be happening and how they're going to build upon the world although i do wish they would just do it <laughs> instead of talking about it but again it looks like they have a lot of stuff planned a lot of exciting stuff so i'm hoping that this becomes more the norm in the series itself and not just at events and interviews and stuff like that but what do you guys think do you have any questions or theories about what any of this information could possibly be when do you think we're going to see all this stuff let us know in the comments down below uh, and of course if you're new here be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we cover more miraculous stuff i've been michael williams you've been watching cartoon universe and we'll see you in the next video peace